so uh, in an indirect way, maybe God is telling me that this is the right thing for me to do to uh, help uh, explain your holy book uh, to you. Now, uh, your scientific colleagues can do this just as well as I can if they have an understanding of embryology, but I've always said that it's uh, probably mean more uh, as a non-Muslim for me to tell people around the world that I believe that what is recorded in the Quran is accurate according to our present knowledge. And uh, as I say, I'm sincere in what I say, is that we just didn't have this knowledge, and some of this knowledge about the genes and the chromosomes has only come to us in the last uh, 10 and 15 years. When I was a student uh, 25 or 30 years ago, we didn't have a lot of the knowledge we have now. And there are a lot of things in the Quran that were, uh, I was asked questions about, and I said, I don't understand it. And I think that maybe in another 100 years, and I won't be here, but on those verses, if you ask them to the embryologists of that day, they will say, sure, that is what this means. Uh, and uh, I have seen some of my colleagues who've been so impressed by what they have uh, read in the Quran and so on, that they have certainly, uh, there have been a few cases where they have converted, and that's fine. For a wide studio.